Hey YouTube, welcome back to a brand new Animal Crossing New Horizons video. Today we're taking a look at 8 changes we're going to see around our island throughout the month of February. There's a fair amount to get through this month, so without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. So we are now coming to the end of January and the first month of 2021 on the New Horizons Island and as you'd expect we're about to see a whole bunch of changes as we move into February. Of course with us also coming to the end of an entire season this time some of these changes are because of that seasonal transition with things like craft materials whilst others are events and other typical environmental changes across both hemispheres. Plus we now have the new content from the latest January update which changes things too so that's pretty exciting. Of course, I'm sure some of you know about some of the more obvious changes, but we'll go over pretty much everything just in case. So please leave a like on the video, it helps out so much. And here are eight changes and new additions we can expect to see during the month of February. Number one, no snow. Of course, February is pretty significant month as it's the final few weeks of winter, which means the end of snow showers and any settled snow on the ground melting away. Winter ends around the 24th of February, at which point any snowfall will return to the usual rain showers and the iconic green grass will return. Furthermore, with the snow finally disappearing, this sees the end of snowflake crafting materials, the ability to build snowboys, and of course unlocking their corresponding DIY recipes. Once the snow has melted, it will officially be spring here in the Northern Hemisphere. Players in the Southern Hemisphere have it slightly different as they remain in the summer season until the 1st of March. Number 2. Seasonal Crafting with the first anniversary of Animal Crossing New Horizons fast approaching, we're about to experience spring for the second time. From the 25th of February, young spring bamboo craft materials will begin spawning inside bamboo trees alongside the standard bamboo. These are obtained by hitting bamboo trees with an axe. These seasonal materials can of course be used to craft the young spring bamboo furniture set, including items like the basket pack, the bamboo doll and the green leaf pile. The DIY recipes for these items will begin to spawn again inside the bloom presents that float across our islands. Again, this is of course only relevant to the Northern Hemisphere, players in the Southern Hemisphere can continue to collect summer shells until the autumn in March. Number 3. Seasonal Events Thanks to the latest 1.7 update, New Horizons has a bunch of new content being distributed throughout February in the form of seasonal events and items in celebration of regional holidays all around the world. Some of these seasonal events such as Setsubun, the big game celebration and Groundhog Day are already underway and have items available for sale at both the Nookstop and the Able Sisters. But February has even more seasonal events in store for us including Valentine's Day, the Lunar New Year's and the Korean New Year. These three mini events and their corresponding limited time items are currently time locked with Valentine's Day items releasing from the 1st and the New Year's items from the 10th. Number 4. Island Aesthetics Now as we mentioned earlier we're approaching a brand new season as we transition from winter to spring in the northern hemisphere and summer to autumn at the very end of the month in the southern hemisphere. During this time players in the northern hemisphere will of course notice the grass change back to normal but the colours of the trees will also begin to change with everything looking more vibrant. Players in the northern hemisphere won't see any changes to their bushes though as the red and pink camellia bushes have only just started blooming. However, players in the Southern Hemisphere will already have noticed blue and pink hydrangeas are no longer flowering in favour of red and yellow hibiscus which will continue to bloom through the entire month of February. Furthermore, the New Horizons Island will see some other subtle changes thanks to the shift in seasons. Most notably, the decorations on display at Nook's Cranny will change from a wintry theme to a spring theme to include flowers and butterflies. Number 5. Holiday Event once again, thanks to the 1.7 update released just a few days ago, a brand new event called Festival is returning to the franchise and scheduled for February. From the 15th of February, Pave will stop by to host Festival and bring with him a bunch of awesome carnival themed furniture and clothing items, as well as some new colourful crafting materials. This one day event will see us collecting a variety of different feathers in return for lots of dancing and limited time items. Don't worry too much about obtaining these items from the event though, all but one of the items can be purchased from Nook's Cranny from the 1st of the month. You'll find them in the seasonal slot at the bottom left of the store. Number 6. Bug Off 
Now with it still being summer for players in the Southern Hemisphere for the entire month of February, players have the opportunity to take part in the fourth and final bug off of the summer. Flick will stop by the plaza on the 20th of February to host the event and bring with him plenty of bug off prizes. As usual it's slightly more challenging than a typical fishing tourney as there's no easy way to attract extra bugs. With that said it's a great opportunity for new players or anyone looking to get a different type of trophy for taking part. Unfortunately players in the northern hemisphere won't see a bug off of their own until June. Number 7 New Reactions from the 1st of February, four new reactions will be available to purchase from Nook's Cranny as part of the Viva Festival reaction set. This set is only available to purchase from the 1st and through to the 15th. Once bought, you can learn the Confetti, the Viva, the Let's Go and the Feeling It reactions, which are all perfect for celebrating the festival season. With that said, they aren't actually time locked, so can already be obtained through time travel if you want to. Number 8 Critters now probably the most obvious change especially for players who have been playing for a while is of course to the bugs fish and deep sea creatures that we can encounter around the island. Of course with it being winter for a few more weeks in the northern hemisphere there's no surprise that the only new critter is the tiger beetle. You can expect far more to begin spawning in March once fully in spring as we tend to see a larger shift than usual in the first few days of a new season. Players in the southern hemisphere have a little more of a challenge though as February brings a bunch of new critters to the island. There's too many creatures to go over right now, but you'll be able to find the likes of the rice grasshopper, the moray eel and the flatworm amongst others. So there we have it, that was 8 pretty significant changes that we can expect to see during the month of February, most of which happen in both hemispheres. But what do you think about these changes? Are you happy with only having one holiday event in February? And are you looking forward to collecting young spring bamboo? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Anyway for now, that pretty much wraps up this video, don't forget to subscribe as we'll be uploading a bunch of New Horizons news as and when it happens. Until then I'd like to give a special thank you to this channel's Patreon supporters as well as this channel's members you guys absolutely rock and truly help me upload as regularly as I do, I couldn't do it without you. Don't forget to head over to our Discord server too and of course if you made it to the end of the video please comment grass just to let me know you did that would be super awesome and please be sure to include whether or not you're excited to see the snow disappear, I'd love to know. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it entertaining. Please be sure to leave a like if you did. Thanks for watching. I hope you have an amazing day. Stay safe and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.